Vancouver, or started in Calgary, yep. went to Vancouver, and here we are in Toronto for Canada Cup 2015. My name is Bay Rudy. Hey, I'm Ultra David. It's going to be a great event. Um, yeah. Already, in fact, yesterday, when it started with the teams, it's already been a good event, but today is going to be the singles, and we have a ton of top-level players here from North America, from uh, Asia. East Asia, yeah. and even from the UK out here. You know, Justin Wong yesterday on Twitter said, today is going to be a bloodbath. Yeah. And I totally agree. Like, the amount of players I have here on my little sheet of notes here is just incredible. And uh, we're about to start getting into Pools F here, uh, which we're going to have EG Momochi, Tampa Bison, Ray Sita. That, that's all in one pool. That's all in one pool. Bon, th then the next pool is Bonchan, Spat, Spat Bobbin, mm -hmm. uh, EG Ricky Ortiz. F3 is Razor Shin, EGK Brad, Sketch. F4 is Avermedia's Gamer B, Storm Kubo, who had an amazing performance uh, yesterday during the teams, was absolutely. I know, I know, you were getting a kick of that. I uh, definitely was. Yeah. He he was for Team Japan, and I really thought thought that he was the MVP of Team Japan, oh, and yes. that it was really him and Dominion who were who were running yeah. the show yesterday. But props to but Dominion. for for Storm Kubo, just the spacing that he has with claps. The, the confirms that he has. Man. All the mix-ups are there. But but really what I, I'd love is just to watch spacing with claps. Because it's yes. like it's like throwing a fireball. That's, it is. What, that's how you have to think about it. And and when he does it, he he's always throwing it at the right spot. He, he is. always sees he it make, hits. He makes it look so easy. When yeah. he was like mid-screen and just clapping those fireballs, I was like, you pick like anyone else, try picking Hugo and yeah. do that. Yeah. Like that is difficult to do. It, it really is. Yeah. And, and he, he mixes up which clap he uses. He'll go fierce clap. Fierce clap, fierce clap in a way that almost nobody does. Yeah. It's just a very different timing and placement of, of those options. So yeah. Very impressive player, that's for sure. So, uh, you know, later down the day, man, like we that was just one fourth of the tournament that I just said right, right now, those are by pools, the way. Pools and, F. And apparently they added, I, I heard them call out pool F5, so there might they might have just added a last second pool. Because ah. there's a lot of people who've actually flown in last second. Oh, wow. So a lot, I've heard some. Uh, some word about some European players flying in, some more European players. No way. So, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. So, okay. th this very well may not be it, but just uh, looks like we are setting up here, and we've already got EGK Brad oh, wow. on the stage here. And, uh, you know, K Brad, of course, going to be playing his usual cami. That's right. K Brad's always been a good player, but he's he's really trying to make sure he gets into Capcom Cup now. And is. this is the last event that gives points yeah. for the Capcom Cup. The winner of this qualifies automatically. The winner of a couple more tournaments in the future also qualify automatically, but this is the last one that gets you points. Yeah. So it's it's extremely important for a bunch of players to do well if they want any chance of getting in. Wow, I haven't seen this costume <laughs> yeah. in person yet. But there you go. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It looks like he's playing uh, Guaps, who is from Canada. And let's see how he plays up through this matchup. Well, so far, I like how he's, he's been doing it. Oh, he tried to dash in, it seems. Oh, same side. And here you go. Nice, good escape here. Glop's not doing too too bad. He's got a... Yeah, I thought he was zoning pretty well. Nice, yeah. Tried to, tried to convert after that, but... EGK Brad finding a way in. Again, wow, all right. And then Patience. Looking for K Brad to do wake up TP, I guess. And good close up by K Brad, but Glop's not looking too bad. He just seemed no. a little flustered when he was in the corner, but his spacing at the start of the round was definitely very strong. Mm -hmm. Let's see what adjustments he can make here. K Brad barely sliding by that one. K Brad can play very patiently himself. I mean, of course yeah. he wants to get in and do this stuff, yeah. but. When it's about getting started, he doesn't need to go crazy. Oh my goodness, yes. that bait he's seen. Oh, the he got the bait this time. I got the bait. What's he got here? Can I get it? Oh no, he drops it, but it's okay. K Brad's still looking fine. Yeah, that was it. And such a quick and easy round there. He did get that read, you know? Man. He got the read on the Dragon Punch. Look at this costume, David. I know. <laughs> <This> <laughs> look, at her, look at her legs, wow. <laughs> this is crazy. With those eyes. She really is the killer bee here, <laughs> yep, man. That that's is... what it is. Now that a Guap's look, looking to go to the character select screen. I mean, I don't really think that was the problem. I don't think I don't think so either. Yeah, I, I don't think so either. I think the the second round he just kind of got rushed down, didn't have the right blocks, and you know that's just that's what Cami does, yes. right? So, yeah, any character susceptible to that. Exactly. Yeah. And as far as the the read that K Brad had when the Dragon Punch came. 
that's something that he can do on most characters as well. Yeah, so that's it's sure. not really a character issue. No, it was a really nice adjustment by Cave Rat. You know, the first first round he noticed that you know Guops is willing to throw the DP out there, yeah. and then the next time he was like, you know what, I'm I'm just gonna back dash. Oh, gets the counter hit. Focus attack. There you go. Nice. Keep pressure on. Okay, Cave Rat's out of there though. Nice, great anti air here. Guops looking good. Oh, man, that is a little bit unsafe. Yeah. Cave Rat knew. Yeah, it seems like Cave Rat is just on mauling mode right now. I don't know what he had for breakfast, but... <laughs> That's his game! <laughs> oh, didn't get the rest! That could have been really big for Guaps. Nice. So he goes back to zoning a little bit, but got to worry about Ultra 1. Oh, nice, yeah. And here. It's not working on that. You got to be a little bit careful oh, with it. Oh, looking for DP again. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Had, the, had the right spacing that time. But yeah, Guap's got to watch out for that jump in right now. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. Great, <laughs> great call, David. But yes, you know what? I think the reason why K-Brad's jumping in so much is because uh, Air actually tells me a lot in this matchup. He struggles against certain characters like Seth because it's so hard to anti-air as poison. Mm. So just because the fact that they delay or uh, have that little bit of a delay in air, uh, it's very, very difficult to spot that out in anti-air with poison. Right. And uh, I feel like K-Brad may know that and is trying to bank on that. Yeah, you can really see him. He's, he's mixing it up between normal jumps and between yeah. bad hits, so he gets the mix up there. Yeah, nice. here it is. Bop's really trying to zone, but it's there, there is a range where Poison has difficulty doing that. She either wants to be closer in or farther away. That's the range that k Brad has been sticking to. There you go. Bop's got him in the corner. Oh, no, but he takes himself out. Oh! I don't, I don't know if that was such a good call by Bop, though. I would have I tried to keep Poison's corner pressure. is way too scary. But there's that patience from K-Brad over there. Yeah, it's, K -Brad it, it, knows he's got the life lead. Right, and it's on Guops to make something happen. See him moving away, really does not want to be in that range where Poison's buttons are not that great. Oh, okay! Here you go. What has he got? Will he spend Ultra on this? No, oh, yeah, reset. Okay. Oh, nice overhead. And right now, Guops sitting on the life lead. Oh, no, that was big. Big chance. Oh, this is where it be starts for K-Brad. Can he block? Nice back dash, okay. But he still catches him. Gops is going to need something big here. Any Reko will kill, okay. Look at the time. It's eight seconds yeah. left. Got to make it happen right now. He's got to get in. He's got to get in. Oh, oh, no. Dragon Punch from K-Brad. Three seconds? Oh. oh. Good patience by K-Brad there. He was definitely. Wow. Going up into the air like that? Yeah. That was, that was scary. Yeah, that it was. was. Scary. Poison's Dragon Punch doesn't have that much horizontal range, but once yeah. she's in that corner like that, yeah. she could have just gone right <laughs> yeah, up, right? I mean, exactly. that was the risk that K-Brad took at the end. Uh, but hey, all right, it worked. Yeah, Nicely done. K-Brad, he's definitely one of the threats in his pool, but his pool it ha also has Shen and Sketch. Shen is, yeah. you know, one of the, one <laughs> yeah. of the greatest Street Fighter 4 champion, players. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, so that, that is going to be a tough pool. Of course, two people make it out of each one. Yeah. No. Uh, Scary, scary, scary pool, but I mean, Guap does not play that bad. No, honestly, not at all. Like, just the thing is, it felt like every time he had K Brad in the corner, it seemed like he'd just go for a cross up and put himself in the corner. Mm -hmm. I saw that happen a few times, and like, the, anytime I see a poison player do so well and have the momentum on their side, is always that corner pressure using the fierce fireball, having that that positive frame advantage, and uh, you know, sadly, I didn't see that too much from Guaps, but so that was. Uh, in pool F3, but F3. We, we haven't really talked about who else is here. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. and just to briefly go through the rest of the pools while we're waiting for the next match, in G1, there's uh, Mago, Chirithi, Chaotix. G2 has Kazunoko and Smug. G3 has Fudo, Sherry Genix, Sabin, and Lapchi. Lapchi, okay. <laughs> the god himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, G4 has Tokido, Profluke, and F Champ. I yes. didn't know he was here. Apparently, he was supposed to be flying in today. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's that was the word on the street. Hopefully, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Agreed. And uh, I believe, yeah, we let's talk about Chirithi for a second here because this is an interesting topic that sure. uh, a lot of a lot of people might be interested in because Chirithi, one of uh, Canadian heroes, one yeah. of Canada's best. Uh, you know, very well known for his Chun Li play and his Kami, of course, that he switched into. Yeah. But he made a very big character switch recently, which was uh, Ken. 
Yeah. Which was a very interesting discussion I had with him. I was very, very shocked to see him play Ken. <laughs> I don't know what it was, whether he was inspired by Momochi yeah. or, you know, what, what he's been seeing at, you know, the Capcom Pro Tour. Uh, but I don't know. What, what do you think about that? Because I'm sure you've you've been watching Chariots probably ever since Third Strike. That, I think that's yeah. true. Yep. Yeah, Third Strike <laughs> where he was, you know, he was a Chun-Li player. Yeah, uh, when I think of Chariot's character style, I think of... Yeah, you don't think Ken. <laughs> I think of who's good. <laughs> yeah, you know that's, what? That, yeah. That's, that's really it. That's true. And that's true. So when I saw him pick Ken, I was a little bit surprised because I might have expected Evil Ryu, but it's... Yeah. it's Ken is a good, good character. Very good character, yeah. uh, all-around sort of character. I think it's a fine choice for him. Yeah. But in any case... That is in, what's he in, pool G1, and we're currently in pools F, and right now, in pool F4. Look who we have, David. It's Storm Kubo. <laughs> it is your hero. Yeah. And mine too. <laughs> Against Storm Chaos Goose. What a, that's a Canadian name, come on. <laughs> if Chaos Goose is not a Canadian name, I don't know what is. All right, here we go. Chaos Goose rocking another one of these cool outfits. I like it's Storm Kubo. It looks like a dead Dragon Ball Z character here with that orange. I really uh, like that costume. Yeah, it's awesome. So you would think that this is in Honda's favor just based on, you know, Honda's supposed to be defensive while he can be a rock. It's not really the case in this matchup. Hugo just has such good range. Yeah, there's some interesting things that uh, I believe Hugo can do in this matchup. I know he can backbreaker. You know, I think I think he can backbreak one of the headbutts on block or something. There's some some crazy stuff. That I remember reading about this matchup. Mm -hmm. It's definitely uh, weird. Nice corner control right now. Oh, does he keep it? No, he walks backwards and then just runs into the clap. What were we talking about? That clap spacing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so good. And yeah, you do not want to get hit by a clap because that's going to be about 30 to 40 percent of your health at least. Storm Kubo, formerly known as Kubobu when he played Dan, and also oh. formerly known as Cristo when he played Rufus. Oh, nice. Uses that armor of that. Back okay. Kick. Great backbreaker. Oh. Holding a spot. Oh, didn't quite get it. Wow. Yeah, he's really playing defensively. Yeah, great use of that, that jab right there. Oh, got to make this one count. He doesn't get EX. That's what he wants. Or Fierce. One of those two would have been great. Oh, yeah. Chance now for Chaos Goose. No, he's got to run into jabs first. Yeah, no. It's, it's, I, I don't know about this. He's having a hard time dealing with his jab pressure here. And Storm Kubo is just going to chill out. Yeah, it's, it's quite hard for Honda to make a comeback at this point, but we'll see. Oh! oh nice escape. Oh, and there you go. That crouch jab to close it out. Look I at mean, the range on that jab. Yeah, no, this is definitely seems like a, a little bit of a struggle for Honda, but... Like, I got them all A's right there. Oh, character select, huh? We'll see. Was it a... Oh, okay, he had to change the costume. Excuse me. Yeah. Super important. <laughs> no, the colors were right. Storm Kubo's are right, though. Those colors are the best. Oh, it's great. I, I, love, I love the use. You know, Hugo's definitely got some great normals in his, in his arsenal. And I love the use. Oh my god, wow. just turns it off with a clap. What a start. into it. I believe that was a medium clap into light. So good. Oh, gets the SPD in. Let's see, what's the clap mix up? Still no meter for Chaos Goose. Oh, okay. So Hugo can do really cool setups on Honda, like uh, meaty clap and option select Ultra 2, or option select EX Backbreaker, which will grab everything. Yeah, I, I would not be surprised if he does that next. Actually, oh, there you go, great stuff. And I really like the style that Storm Kubo is using. It's claps, but not to pressure, really. It's sort of walking back, patient, defensive. It's being really effective right now. Yeah, he's playing, I mean, he's beating Honda at his own game right now, it seems right. like. And he's, he definitely got full super. So right now, Chaos Goose has to be a little bit wary of those claps, because, okay, here you go. Well, one of the ways to deal with claps is to jump over them. You, you yeah. can do that, but of course, Hugo has excellent anti air so that's a risk. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. what? Oh, the counter hit <laughs> <laughs> That forward heavy punch. Oh, man, even Chaos Damn. Goose is, is laughing up. That, even Chaos Goose is laughing right that now. Was that so was... <laughs> Oh, what the What are you going to do, you know? <laughs> great stuff, great stuff. If you see that come yeah. out, there's no way you can be upset. That, that is crazy. He was like, I think I think he wanted that. I think yeah. he wanted that so bad because 
You just he was just in the right spacing. That was so so sick. That's so rare to see that normal used forward fierce. Yeah. Almost never. Almost never. <laughs> but that's that's how you use it. Yeah. That's a use yeah. for it. Yeah, that is exactly. He found it. That's yeah. one of the, that's one thing that really strong players do is they find uses for all of their buttons. Yesterday we saw Storm Kubo use the neutral roundhouse drop kick. Yes, that's right on Snake Eyes, right? On Snake on, Eyes, on wake up. Yeah. And you thought about it, and you're like, you know what? That's so smart because you know if he SPDs on wake up, right. you know, like if he green hands, you might trade. Yeah, I mean, know? on the other hand, it's like a 20 frame overhead. That's yeah. minus, <laughs> minus. I don't even know. Yeah. Oh, God. Super unsafe. <laughs> yeah, let's. But <laughs> but he did find a use for it. Yeah. Right. So there you go. Absolutely. No, like I I. That's what I love. That's what I love about Street Fighter 4, man. It's just like we have a DJ player here, you know. We yeah. have, you know, we we just all these characters, all this character variety. There is really just, good variety. It, it keeps the game really fresh and really fun to watch cuz um, but it looks like up next here looking on stage, it looks Ooh. like we have Tampa Bison coming up. Is he playing as Tampa Bison now or is he Booker? What's the oh, deal with right. that? right. I totally he's forgot. He, he's like the P Diddy of uh, of the fighting game community. You right? know what? Apparently, yeah. that was his uh, first nickname. Well, it was P Diddy. No, no, no. Okay. It was Booker. Okay. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was Booker. Okay. You're, you're facing me out here, David. <laughs> yeah, okay, he, so. he he said that Booker was his first one, and Booker. that the way the, the way that it came to be Tampa Bison was like how P R Rog became P R Rog, which yeah. is like, hey, it's that Puerto Rican Balrog player, Balrog. and this is like, hey, it's that. <laughs> Bison player from Tampa. That's right. You know, that's why I always felt very weird whenever Balrog, uh, Pierre Balrog played anyone else. You know, yeah. He was playing cross tech and he had his team of uh, Dudley uh, and who was it? Paul? Dudley Paul, I believe he played a lot. And I was like, man, this feels a little weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> All right, Booker. <laughs> and Tampa Bison, of course, I saw him in that Street Fighter V booth quite a lot yesterday, which is actually a game that a lot of people seem like they're staying away from. The people who are taking this game right now yeah. seriously because they're so focused on Street Fighter yeah. Four and they're so focused on the Pro Tour, so you can't blame them at all. No. Uh, it, it's not just Street Fighter V. I've, I've tried to get... Uh, like Momochi to play third strike, and oh, yeah. he, he will not. He will not. He will yeah. not. No. Okay, you know, I had to physically grab Smug yesterday and be like, "Sit down, play some Street Fighter Five. I just want you to try it yeah. just for a second. And he did. He was playing a little bit of Dalsim and, and oh, a wow. bit of Vega, and he was having a good time. Yeah, Dalsim was his first pick. He's like, "I want to play this guy." And I'm like, <laughs> really? "Really? As a Dudley player, this is this is what you who you want to play as?" All right. So <laughs> it was uh, that was really really cool to see. So Tampa Bison at CEO did really well. And in fact, he beat uh, Mago on the way. And uh, it looks like he's uh, waiting for things to get going over there. a little but stare. This is, this is his look of disappointment. Yeah. He's looking at us, David. He's saying, why don't you get like started? It. I like the uh, USA flag up on the top there, though. Oh, yeah. That can, yeah. Can we get a zoom in on that face right there? <laughs> Early morning. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Canada Cup 2015, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where, where everyone is early and tired and is the morning. He's from the Eastern Time Zone. Yeah, Come that's on. That's true. That's true. He has no we're, excuse. We're from the Pacific. Mm -hmm. All right. So for us, this actually is early. It is. That's right. But it looks like they're just, uh, I don't know, there's some stick situation, but it is it's all good. I'm very curious. About that extra pool I heard about. Mm, yeah. And to see what that was, because there's definitely no F5 on my list, and I definitely heard one of the TOs call out F5, and I was like, oh, okay. Must have been a lot of people at the door doing it. Actually, props props to a lot of the community. A lot of people came really early for their pool. Like, I was here, yeah. I was here a half an hour before the start, and there was a lot of people just lined up, just ready to play, and yeah. I was like, that's awesome. That is, that's really cool. Yeah. So. FGC known for being late and, <laughs> you know, players showing up late, pool starting late, but that is not the case mm -hmm. this weekend, which is good. All right, looks like we're going straight into it, guys. So it's going to be Bison Ow. and Evil Ryu or yeah. Darren. Darren, I believe, I'm going to guess he's from Toronto area. I know the Calgary and Vancouver scene fairly well. Okay. But... Is there much in between those, geographically? No. There's, yeah. just, there's just Chirithi in Montreal. <laughs> you know. But I'm, I'm sure there's small scenes out there, you know, no disrespect to them. Yeah, but you yeah. don't, you just, you don't see them too much, sadly. Right, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, I wonder what the Yukon scene is like, David, you know? <laughs> I wonder too, that'd be awesome to know about. Yeah, there are some good players in Alaska. <laughs> oh yeah. In Anchorage, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the rest of the state, that'd be cool to know. 
That would be awesome, having a, an event in Alaska. Yeah, BOTB Booker is what he's playing as. Okay. I really like his Bison style. He just has a he has he has good patience, but at the same time he can really predict and and get big damage in a way that a lot of Bisons don't play for. Yeah. Yeah. Jump strong, strong, and pressuring and getting actual strong combos. Yeah, I'm curious. Is he playing Bison in Street Fighter Five as well? I don't know. It's a good question. Because Bison is looking really good in Street Fighter Five, so. But pretty different. But very different. That's a very very good point. Yeah. So no. <laughs> no little psych out by Darren. Looks like he is picking Evil Ryu. Okay. Booker finally locked in on his costume there. Yeah. So it'll be Bison versus Evil Ryu. I, I just I tend to think that Bison does fine against I think he does too. I in, in, including agree. Evil Ryu. I mean he can space out with medium kick and he can ex psycho through fireballs. In this matchup, uh, you know, he does have to worry a little bit just because of the damage output of Evil Ryu, but at the same time, he can stay away from that crouching medium kick range, which is really the button for Evil Ryu. Yeah, that's right. That crouching medium kick, just a move you see the top Ryu players just use over and over again. That's so good. Yeah, it's just just absolutely amazing. Oh, great combo there. Oh, but I didn't have any meter to, to get anything out of it. Darren right now looking really strong. Mm. Like EX cycle through. Oh wow, what a wake up. Okay. Yeah. Wow, yeah, consistently waking up with buttons. That's something that Booker's gonna have to look at. Yeah. Oh nice. I love the throw back into the corner just to get the right positioning. So Booker did try for a little bit of a delay there, but Darren just blocked. Oh. And this is looking close to chip ooh, here. Ooh, the crouch here is punch. I love it. Not a button you see too much. A dictator does not have the best anti airs in this game, but that's that's one of the ones he has to use. Yeah. Oh, that was not confirmed. Let's see him. Oh, nice max range there. Okay, this time Darren gets a no. Oh. And not really a combo from Booker either, just a setup. Again, he's he's really looking for buttons now. He's seen a few in the first part of the first round. Oh. I hope that doesn't color his uh, play for the whole rest of the set. No, I, yeah, it definitely seems like. Yeah, you, you can you can notice right away. He's starting to really expect the buttons already. Yes. But, wow, great, great setup there from Darren. Oh, oh wow, again! He's just utilizing that Tatsu. And right now, yeah. wow, I love the walk under. That was really good. Yeah, great stuff from Darren here. I mean, he started that round with a full super. I think he spent almost all the meter mm -hmm. on EX Tatsus. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, at that range. Nice, okay, Psycho, I think. All right, Booker now coming in. Oh, nice. Oh, was that auto-corrected? That yeah. was great. It's up here from Darren, looking really good. One of the tools that Bison has against Fireballs right there. Yeah. It looks like Booker is just easing his way in. Seems trying to play a counter poke game, just zoning yeah. out or ranging out, really. Nice. Yeah, I love that's that. exactly what he wants. Now, Booker's got him exactly where he wants him. But. Yeah, at this point, the, the comeback for Darren is doable, but oh, oh. maybe not. Oh, yeah. Great. Didn't great. get it. Uses that new ultra combo, I believe, with the stand medium punch. Great stuff, man. <laughs> he the, looks fully into it. That, that, that He's is, stoked uh, to be here. <laughs> Get to zoom in on Darren here. Let's see what he's thinking. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Booker's doing a great job, like, in, in a neutral game. He's he's using the use of focus, and he's uh, definitely using that the scissor kick very well to, to counter poke and get the knockdown. He'll I thought just... that Darren had some nice stuff, too, though. It was not a one-sided first oh, game. Sure. Darren is absolutely in this. He's, he's showing us that he's very aware, aware of this matchup. There were a couple of combo drops. There was a missed uh, confirm with Crouch Medium Kick Fireball. But other than that, I thought he did a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I've noticed now Darren has opted to use that uh, Core Circle Back Fireball Ooh. to get the two hits on it. But here you go. Oh, he's going to use okay, this I like this. Well, he definitely could have done more. but Yeah. Another great button from Evil Ryu, that Stand Medium Kick. 
And now Darren just playing patiently. Oh, yeah, that Darren was really good. Kind of let him out of the corner a little too easily there, in my opinion. It was. Yeah, he, he really is uh, playing. So it's sort of so patiently that it's, just, it's oh. passive at this point. Yeah, there you go. And I, he finally tried to press a button. I love it. I love it. So what, what Booker realized there was that he likes to press buttons. Yep. So he did that little walk back, crouch medium. I love it. Totally went for, for the little delayed counter hit setup. Oh, wow. That was good. But Darren. Oh. So Booker's found the stand medium kick range a couple of times here. Just at the very tip. Oh, nice. There you go. Once again, using that counter hit setup. A little frame trap. Oh. Oh, oh wow. And the stun. That's it. And there you go. Great adjustment from Booker. Very good. Yeah. First match for him. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see if he gets matched up with Raisita or, or Momochi. That will be a very interesting match for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. But... Good play by him. Really, really good adjustments. It's nice to see. It's nice, always nice to see a top player just make a change throughout the match. You know, like it's it's. That's I what know. they do. Yeah. No, it was it was really good because the first. I mean, the first match was looking kind of like oh god, like Darren is looking really. Yeah, really, Darren was close there. He was doing good. Yeah, but. That's right. But. Uh, thanks to Mad Cats for being one of the big supporters. Yes. Of the Capcom Pro Tour, and again here uh, this weekend. Um, they brought us Street Fighter V they, yeah. as well. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you're talking about, yeah, they have a very big presence here, very big booth at the back. Um, and yeah, no, big, big shout out to them. I know Mark Mann is here. Yes. And he's, he's, he's been awesome. As Still he is movie, almost so. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Almost everything that has to do with fighting games. Yeah, he is <laughs> there. Mad Cats is there. <laughs> Mark Mann's everywhere, man. Like, I was at PAX, you know, uh, like last month, and I was like, man, I saw Mark Mann there, and I was yeah. like, man, he's. That'll happen. Yeah, even if it's not like directly yeah. fighting game related, he's, he's there. Just, he's yeah. just everywhere. And yeah. That's just awesome to see. But um, looks like we have Storm Kubo coming up on stage again. Okay. So, so apparently he has a sponsor. Yeah, is, uh, is Devil's Reaper or Devil? Yeah, Devil's Reaper. Yeah. Um, I was told the story about this, and okay. I can look it up. I'll I'll tell you what it is real real quickly. Nice. Now. It's very interesting sometimes. Sometimes, you know, some sponsorships happen like last second, you know, before they fly out. And, uh. Let's see how Storm Kubo plays. It looks like um, his opponent is playing Able. Now, I'm curious to see. I'm, I'm sure, David, you know this matchup. But I know Abel, you know, when he plays against Geef, he'll use a stand strong a lot as a very good counter poke tool to beat Geef's stand medium. I want to see what poke tools that Abel would use a lot in this matchup. Yeah, I think as this is a matchup that's that's pretty decent for Hugo, actually. He, yeah. he outranges Abel really well. His damage potential is gigantic, of course. Uh, he has oh, nice tools to deal select. with Abel on wake up. Oh! oh! And to make Abel's guesses hurt. No, absolutely. Abel has to... Abel should be afraid every time. Uh, you know, on his wake up, like he can't really go for the EX Tornado throw. Uh, unless it's a big gamble, of course, but... At the same time, I think that, you know, Abel can... He still has good normals. He can, he has good movement. Oh, oh wow. That's that that ridiculous. That yeah, oh, yeah. That, for sure that works. That's, that was such a good such a good reaction right there for a confirm. Wow. Uh, yeah, oh, looking okay. for grab was Trini. So Devil Reapers on Twitch um, has sponsored him because he uses Hugo. That's that's the word that I have received. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, okay, wow. That was a little too much. I yeah. don't know about that. That was a little bit Matt, Matt max range there. Yeah. But. Might just be feeling it out, seeing how Chinny deals with that. But Abel doesn't really have the best whiff punish for that. There's some characters that can really whiff punish that. Yeah. But for Abel, it's stand short. And that's oh, not yeah. that effective. Nice. So that crouch short into clap only count combos on counter hit. That was good stuff from Kubo. Oh. He is just Trini's clapping away right now. And Trinity's really not doing that much to stop him from. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. wow. This last one always does more than I think it's gonna. Okay, yeah. not quite dead. Oh, oh big he tried Oh to no! <laughs> that, honestly, he that could have been the round. Tr yeah. Trini, if he, if he had maximized that punish right there, yeah, you look at his expression. That could have been that round. That, that was that was so risky. 
It was hugely <laughs> risky. Yeah. I think he's just like styling at that. He could have just easily gone for the down down medium kick. You know, he would have been airborne as well, but I don't know, Storm Kubo looks like he's just having a little bit of fun. Maybe that's his little trademark, who knows? <laughs> it nice. is a crowd pleaser. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's huge, yeah. Look at this, just clapping him clapping away to the corner. And look at this. Oh my goodness. And the God. reset. Storm Kubo. He has this, this grin is, on his face. Is, when Trini woke up this morning, this is not what he wanted. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so I that that was at least an attempt at, at a whiff punish, and it didn't work. But that's something he has to make work. Yeah. Here it is. Oh well, okay. we got something at least. There you go. Let's see what Trini's gonna do. Goes for a cross up. But Storm Kubo just too well aware here. Nice. Yeah, focus is definitely an option as well. Oh my goodness, just those, he's so good with those claps. But just, oh no. Yeah. Ultra, Ultra, that's oh it. Oh my goodness. That's it. And Storm Kubo. Just looking so solid. Wow. That was two quick and easy games. Just the spacing on those claps, something we were talking about earlier. Yeah. That was such a good demonstration of that. It just seemed like on neutral, even though he was throwing out the you know the crouch mediums from time to time, the little smacks, but he was just half the time he was just clapping. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, you know you you just you don't know which clap he does because right. each one gives you a different a little bit of a different range adjustment, I believe. They do, and they come uh, out with different times as well. Yeah. And it's really tough to see when he reels back, they all look the same. Yeah. So you have to sort of just see which one comes out or predict which one comes out. You can't exactly. really react to it. Yeah, um, you know, th there's always that that basic traditional setup where you just knock down and it's either clap into SPD or clap into meaty clap again. Yeah, the whiff, and, the whiff or meaty clap. Yeah, yeah, and it's something that you you really can't tell. I mean, I'm sure Abel, if Abel was in that situation, he could maybe do a normal wake up, uh, little command throw, tornado throw, because his normal torna tornado throw is not is throw invincible, I believe. His EX one is throw not. Invincible. Yeah, is not throw invincible. So, I mean. Storm Kubo, man. Storm Kubo, yep. He one just of, had the spacing right. One of the yeah, one of the big picks for I don't know a lot of one of the picks that a lot of people want to see in top eight and go far in this tournament. Yeah, it would uh, be really cool to see him do that because that would be a big help in him getting into Capcom Cup. It would. And that's you know he would be the only Hugo in Capcom Cup. He and, would be. And he is so strong. I mean, so yesterday when he was playing, as we said, his, his team, Team Japan, got to winners finals of the International 5v5 against USA. Mm -hmm. And then they got through losers against, I believe Canada won, losers finals. Yeah. And then they played against USA again in grand finals and reset the bracket. And Storm Kubo was an important part he of was. that process. As, as good as the players were on his team and as good as you know, Team USA, Team Canada, they had very strong players. Yeah. But Kubo really got through. No, for sure. Definitely showed showed the Canadian crowd what he was all about yesterday in the team tournament. So I met Volva, who's, yeah, his name is Volva, at um, E3. He was there to practice up Street Fighter V, and we spent a whole bunch of time just trying stuff out. Oh, like, this is your lab buddy, David? Game, yeah, this is, at this E3, is, oh, this, this is my lab buddy, yeah. Oh, your Canadian lab buddy. That's okay. right. <laughs> Looks like Volva going with his little Halloween costume here. Oh, this is, this is a matchup that I don't see very often anymore. Yeah, as oh much yeah. as I like to. Just in general, you don't yeah. see Ryu matchups anymore, right? Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow. Gets away with the focus. He's got the reps. No. Still too far. Wow. wow, just a jump that could have been dealt with by Daryl Steven. Over right now. Ooh, goes for that meaty overhead setup. I like it. And now just controlling the corner. Okay, let's see if Steven can finally make something happen. Yeah. You see, you see him waiting. He's waiting for something, but... Yeah. Oh, I mean, he's got the Ultra stocked up as well. But... Volvo just looking so strong there. Let's see if the real Steven can make any adjustments here for us. And nice. I like the little meter build there from Volvo. Using those kicks full screen just to build a little bit of bar, because... Chun-Li, an extremely scary character when she's got her super stock. Can punish almost anything. Well, she was almost there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the kick follow-up. Oh, nice. I like that little wall jump after. Yeah, make sure he has the corner yeah. still. Super almost on deck again. And there it is. And here's that super. He's got oh, you waiting up. for it? Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. You're just waiting for it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly what I was talking about. Just so scary. And there you go.
That was something that was talked a lot about in the, the vanilla days when the, in the Chun-Li Ryu mirror, oh sorry, matchup I should say. Uh, the Chun-Li Ryu matchup was, you know, just when Chun-Li's got that super stock, there's so few options that, you know, Ryu could do. But great play so far from Volva. Looks like he's building up, focusing those fireballs, trying to build up his uh, revenge meter there to get that ultra. He really has to make sure he doesn't get hit right now. Yeah, he does. I'm surprised he goes in a little bit. Yeah, he is building a lot of ultra right now. So, oh, okay. that hurt! It did hurt? It definitely hurt. That hurt. <laughs> oh, I don't know what he's doing. I think oh, he's trying, trying to, to ultra. He's, no, he's trying to do kick. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So he got it, but okay. that cost a bunch of life. It cost yeah, about yeah. as much as he dealt. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. I'm, I'm sure he's going to want to build another bar here. But this is looking good for the real Steven. Again, a lot of patience on Steven's side. Okay, here he is. Ball actually, very good use of uh, focus. I've noticed very close up. He likes to, almost like a Balrog player, he uses that focus real close up and tries to get that counter hit. Level one counter hit. And nice reactions. All right, that's going to be some good damage. This time it didn't cost him as much life. Yes. Uh, he's got he's got very good positioning here. Tries to present you out. And that is just enough to get him another round. You know, there's there's a lot of passivity going on on the real Steven side. In that situation there, he didn't he didn't challenge. There was no crouch tech, there was no dragon punch. Oh, no, and you, you don't want to do that stuff all the time, but I don't know, he I guess he tried it there and it didn't work. Yeah. I mean if Volva decides to focus that many hits again, I think the real Steven should start playing a little bit more aggressive and really start challenging that a little bit more in their neutral. Okay. Yeah, okay, you see nice. him moving forward yeah. now. I like to see that. No, I definitely like that more. Definitely great, very good adjustment. Could have gotten a lot more off that. This is really this is a good sequence for him. Yeah. Oh. Gotta watch out. He's sitting on meter here. Oh, that might be it. No. Oh. Yeah, he cannot throw a fireball there, and he doesn't. Yeah, he's got to be careful here. Oh, oh, and he just gets the throw, and the real Steven just steals one right there. Yeah, I, I definitely like the tiny adjustment he made. I'm playing a little bit more aggressive. There you go, nice. There you go, gets that corner carry. Let's see what he's got. The real Steven looking good here. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of waking up oh, here. Okay, what it I would have used Super and got a much bigger lead, but looks like he missed that confirm. Oh, okay. Yeah, you notice the real Steven now. He, he notices how much Bulba likes to focus. Yeah. And uh, he's throwing out those EX fireballs a lot more in neutral. Okay. Bulba is sitting on full Super here. Oh, no! Oh, wow, that was a risk. Bulba got hit. They're probably trying to input Ultra 1. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Saving the bar. The real Steven's got to be a little bit more patient, though. Just uh, he's, he's being a little bit too predictable with his jump ins. Yeah, this, yeah, is, this yeah. is the opposite of being passive. Oh, oh, we got in there! And the real Steven steals another one. <laughs> I love these space shots. <laughs> oh, Volvo was just shaking his head. Yeah. Volvo on the right, there he is. Oh, he does not look happy. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not how you saw him at E3, David. He no, it's that. not. <laughs> Oh, nice. Like that overhead. Oh. There really hasn't been too much in the way of meaty pressure out of the real Steven. Nice. Good, good link there. And yes, yeah, just ball mode. Just that use of the focus. Yeah, I'd like oh. to see a jump in grab or something. I'd like to see a jump in just sure you can. You know, if he, if he notices that, that focus, he can, <laughs> he can react at times. Use the, those invincibility frames to, to defeat the focus. But Volvo looking real good right now. Yeah, that was much more of, of his round. It looks like he's not—he's not just playing to build meter through fireballs now. He's oh, nice. trying to be a little bit more active. Yeah. The one issue that the real Steven has been having is he's been using a lot of meter in the neutral because of the EX fireballs. Yes. He hasn't been having very much to work with. Whenever he gets the damage off, I have not seen a single uh, uppercut up EDC this entire set. Oh, again, again, not much meaty pressure out of the real Steven and Volva sees it. Okay, there's that counter hit. Oh, and once again, too far. Definitely, Volva's got to get, get those reps down. And now Volva just really hoping there's going to be a fireball. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, cross up. Looks like the real Steven playing. 
a lot more aggressive here. Steven not throwing a fireball. That's the right yeah, call right now. Oh. Definitely. Oh, he's got to watch out for that second hit. Oh, okay. Got hit trying to do ultra, for sure. And once again, throws an EX fireball. Looks like the real Steven can't be too predictable with these jump Oh, oh he could have gone. Oh. oh, this might be it. Oh, Bubble gets away. The real Steven, he wants to chase. Oh, and again, I... gets hit. EX fireball. You got to think that was ultra one input. Yeah. And Bulba right now. This is the very last round here. I mean, the real Steven just has to be a little bit more aware of when he's closer to the corner. There's so many situations where he could have gone low forward, EX Fireball to Ultra. And that was one of them right there. But he's just, like, he's been using all of his meter always on the EX Fireballs. But I think that's something Volvo's got to stop doing. He's got to stop focusing. As he, he is getting hit by a lot more of those here in the set. There you go. That was nicely spaced. Yeah. But you're right, that, that has been too much of his game. Oh, yeah, this might be the end. Yeah. That should be it. Yes, yeah, just okay. Just enough, and Volva takes it. Thank goodness for that little change in Ultra Street Fighter. Now that that, that Ultra finally hits the full animation, always in the corner. <laughs> that was pool F1. Yeah. Looks like up next we're going to have Starmy G from Canada and Fake Lucifer from Taiwan. And pool F3. Wait, Starmy G, is this the streamer? I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm very curious to see. This This is looking really good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that last set, that was your boy, David. And hey, he was. He got it. He got it. I mean, he got it. And uh, look, look, looking at this, the match, I think it is Starmy G. That's right. Okay. She's uh, a Twitch streamer, I believe. Okay. Um, I believe she plays Jury. My memory might might be wrong, but I believe she plays uh, Jury. So okay. Might be a little bit of an interesting match here for all you Twitch monsters out there. And you're definitely going to want to stick around because after that we have on the lineup Storm Kubo coming back to play against Ranma Sama. Ranma Sama, that's right. And Ranma Sama plays uh, Rufus, I believe. And he's got a few characters under his belt, yeah, too. Yeah, I think, I think he's pretty much switched to DiCaprio. I see full DiCaprio. That's right. He has switched to You DiCaprio. know, I don't see him play... Street Fighter 4 terribly yeah. often, but when I've seen him, I believe it's been DiCaprio. Yeah. No, no, it's true. And I, I, I know I've seen him play a lot of characters in casuals. So I've seen him play a little bit of Dudley, actually, in tournament. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. And it is. Tharmy G. I actually did not know she was from Canada. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Versus fake Lucifer. Rockin' Blanca here. All right. I hear a little bit of call out for Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That's right. David is getting a little, he's itching. I uh, saw David was about to run away from the commentary <laughs> booth. I had to hold him back. No, no, no ST for me today. Yeah, no ST for you, David. You got to sit here with me. That costume <laughs> is cool. All right, let's go. Got Sarmi G on the left, Big Lucifer on the right. Sarmi G is waiting it out. Is this for I real? Know, I, think, I just... think this is my check, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is a really, really sick outfit. He's... Yeah, that's cool, right? Yeah, I love it. I mean, look how far we've come with costumes, man. There have been a lot of packs yeah. since the release of this game. Some of them, when when this Halloween pack was announced, I didn't know who What's the character it? was <laughs> I mean, in a couple of instances. Yeah. I didn't sure. know the mine was Abel at first. It looked like it might have been like Sagat or Faye or something, but yeah. Yeah, there you go. And the outfits haven't been too bad. I mean, I remember when Blanca's first alternate came out and he had the, I think it was the second one too. He had the wings. The wings. And it was like uh, super obnoxious. Super <laughs> obnoxious. <laughs> and uh, I think they've been doing a good job by keeping them somewhat like easy to see. Yeah. You know, like, so props to Capcom for that. I love it. And here we go. It looks like we're going straight into it. Sarmi G going with Feng Shui Engine, which I think is the right call. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That's for sure. As far as uh, Fake Lucifer from Taiwan, got to see what kind of Blanca he is. There's different kinds of Blanca. Is he yeah. shenanigans offense Blanca, or is he patient mid-range Blanca? Yes, there's, there's the Raisitas, and then there's the Lapshis. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so far, it seems like he really wants to get in. Yeah. Starmie, not going to pressure. Really wanted to get away. Okay. Maybe set up? No, okay. So choose to save Ultra. I mean, she's not looking too bad here. Yeah, she's really trying to outrange that slide, which is yeah. the right call. Oh! oh okay. At least she got a trade. Oh, wow, waking up 
jab and then walking away, really hoping to see something out of the fake Lucifer she can deal with. Oh, nice. Okay, that was quite risky, but he, she did end up getting the counter hit. Yeah, I like that block. That was really good. Just wait it out. Oh, oh is that wow. it? No, not quite. Okay. There it is. Starmie G closes out the first round. It's fake Lucifer. In pool F3. Yeah. Same pool as Shannon K. Brad. Oh, nothing else. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure why Fake Lucifer tried to tried to back dash there. He should just yeah. He should just block that because it's so punishable, and uh, it even got toned down more as the pushback got reduced less. So if you think that you know if you think that jury's gonna do something, I'll wake up. You might as well just block. No need to back dash. Well, that's a nice spacing by Starmie right there, and again. Oh, nice. Oh, that was a big chance for Fake Lucifer. Love that use of that forward there. But Some pressure. Oh, oh really? Right there. Did, that did it come? Oh, yes. It did. And Fake Lucifer giving her the random stuff. That, but that <laughs> definitely seems like his style. That seems yeah. like his go-to. Not just Ultra, of course, but just in the way he's playing. Very insistent on playing offense. Oh, no. That could have been a full punish for Starmie. Oh, no. No combo. Oh, oh wow. Oh. She wanted the counter. Nice. Sarmi's looking really good right now. She's got to play the game that she was playing in the first round. And zone... Zone her out. Nice. Oh, that was that really one. good. That was sick. Like this for waiting. Oh, oh good whiff punish. Nice. Starmie, oh. I, I love the range. All right, now Fake Lucifer's in. Oh, he was in, and then yeah. he just chooses to get out. Yeah, Fake Lucifer's, you know he's going to go for something big at this point. Oh, yeah. And Starmie's doing, she's using her normal so well right now in neutral, but just got to watch out. It's, 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 time, it's time to just play patiently, I think, for Starmie, because yeah. Fake Lucifer's going to go to town. He's going to go, yeah, he's going to do something crazy. Got to watch it. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. Did yeah. she block? Oh, oh, no! My goodness! What? Why? Oh, Starmie, why? Oh, oh man, she's, ask, she's asking the same oh, thing of herself. No. <laughs> you knew, everyone knew. Well, you could see yeah. it. Looked, so it looked like she had a toward roundhouse that came out. My, my question, was it supposed to be uh, EX Pinwheel? I don't know. Oh my goodness, Starmie G, I was going to subscribe to you on Twitch. Prove me right, let's go. I mean, she was playing great, though. She was, she was just doing she a great job. She had some good ranges in, yeah. that, in that round, and she had the right call to play patiently and wait for that ultra to, to come out. It was just at the very end. I don't know what happened. And now, Fake Lucifer might just be in her head a little bit. We'll see. That definitely takes something, some experience to conquer. You know, losing a round that you probably should have won and, and, and to come back out of that. Definitely. Especially for that to be a round three and yeah. that to be an entire game. I mean, that's how the game was decided. Oh, wow, just full screen. Oh, oh I think you got yeah, it. Yeah, you got her. So Man. it's match point now, fake Lucifer. Fake Lucifer. I think we found out the type of Blanca player he is. I think, I <laughs> you think know, we did. At the beginning of the set, you're like, is he defensive or is yeah. he lap -chi? Yeah. And right. we're like, he is lap <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Nice sweep here. And uh, gotta punish? get something. Oh, oh well, she's yeah. She's got to definitely, she's definitely got to, you know, have those bigger punishes. Because we've seen multiple occasions where Fake Lucifer is just doing very reckless things. Yeah, that's really his style. Yeah. Okay, knocked down, but he's Fake Lucifer is pretty much in there right now. It's gonna yeah. be a huge comeback for Starmie, and she she has mostly been playing defensively, not offense. She yeah, has. so. And fake Lucifer is gonna close it out and take it two to nothing. Oh man, she's not happy about uh, it. <laughs> she's not happy. <laughs> good, good stuff to start me, G though. She played well. Her her spacing was great, but her I, I feel like in when she was well spaced, she was pressing a few too many buttons. You know, there's I saw some full screen block balls that weren't even EX that were should not have hit. You know, yeah. and, and it was always a counter hit because she was pressing something. Uh, so that's true. <laughs> well, She's going, she's going to losers. Fake Lucifer yeah. continues on. 
Again, that's a that's a strong pool. But up next, we have a really strong matchup between two strong players. Like I said, it's going to be Storm Kubo and Ram Masama in pool F4. Yeah. Also in that pool is Gamer B. So I don't. This is probably not winners finals of the pool. This is just it's a, not, a no. tough match that it they both happened. have to deal with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It ha happened to happen. So we'll see. I mean, we 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 discussed that. It's obviously, it's going to be Hugo versus. The cap rate. I would. That's what I would yeah. guess. No, but I, I guess we'll see. Oh uh, yeah, I, I definitely put my money on that. Seeing Ramasama's last tournament games, uh, we saw, I believe, Storm Kuba play against Jace a bit yesterday in the team tournament, if mm. I remember correctly. So it definitely doesn't seem like Storm Kuba was very afraid of the cap rate. You yeah. know, I mean, Storm Kuba doesn't seem like he's afraid of anything. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, there, there's certain players who are actually very good at the the, the cap rate matchup, where they know exactly where the feint is going to go, while there's other players who are, you know, very I don't know, they're very confused of what to do in neutral against the Capre. Right. And we'll see how experienced Storm Kubo is or how afraid he is of that feint. Because it really, it fakes out a lot of players. You know, it definitely, it, it gets a lot of people off of their neutral. Oh, yeah. The same way that, you know, El Fuerte's little uh, chest bump can, can screw a lot of people up in their neutral as well. Because it's just something you got to respect. So, so here we go. Let's see which ultra is. They're going with. I always like to see it because that really, you know, changes how you play for both mm -hmm. of these characters quite a lot. Absolutely. And there are different. There are different players who sometimes always go with Ultra Two with Hugo or always Ultra One. There are different yeah. thoughts on that. Same thing with the Yeah. Oh, Ultra One. Like Ultra One. Yeah. I mean, some with... people I know go with Ultra Two so that they can try to whiff punish. It's super fast. Absolutely. I mean, with Ultra One, uh, for for Hugo. You, we, we would see a lot of times, you know, the, I call it the Kelvin, where you do the crouch short and FADC mm -hmm. into Ultra 1. Yep. Very tricky stuff. But Storm Kubo has not been reliant on it. He's, it seems like he's always been going with Ultra 2. And here we go. Nice use of that armor. Oh, gets a clap. Oh, Could have gotten a backbreaker, but yeah. didn't end up going for it. Ramasama so far is really... I, I'm, not, I'm not sure about how he's playing this. He, he's not being very active, which is something that most DiCaprio's will do. You, you know, you don't want to let the opponent know where you're going to be. I feel like yeah. he's trying to just whiff punish and play like a against a normal grappler, but that's not Hugo. Yeah. This is definitely very different than what we saw from Jace yesterday, but you know, every player has their own style. Okay. Ooh. It's okay. It's going to find a way in here. Oh, nice. Well, you know what? That's great for Ramasama. At least he got something. Oh, that yeah. was really good. Knew it was going to be unsafe. I love that awareness by Ramasama there. Oh, Storm Kubo really wants... Oh, and look at he was yeah. pumping for yeah, yeah. Ultra 2. Oh, and oh, nice backbreaker there. And what is what do we got here? Out of there. Okay, Ramasama. Oh, oh. but there's the counter hit jab. And Into a clap. Yeah, those are two hits. Nice. Not bad, not bad by, by Ramasama here, but... I just think with, with punishing with her is not practical. It's not yeah. it's not damaging for Hugo, and it, it's just not easy considering her normals. Yeah. Good. I love this by Storm Kubo. Doesn't seem too afraid of the feints, not really phasing him at all. Yeah, not, not over committing to anything. Yeah. Just hanging out. That's great stuff, and he's building, slowly building meter with those claps, so... Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Nice there it is, here. yes. Okay. okay, gets that empty into low. That's been a big source of his damage, actually. Yeah, there you go, Ramasama was fishing a backbreaker there. Oh, oh. no punish. Lucky for Ramasama. Yeah. Oh, no. Just missed the SPD, let's see. Okay, there's the roundhouse. Is he gonna set up ultra? No, not yet. No, let's. I mean, once again, gets that escape from the oh, corner. Oh, gotta be big. No. Oh, yeah. It seems like Ramasama has been trying to bait that backbreaker. Oh, look at that! Look at Ultra Two pumping. He's looking for it. Yeah. That's Storm Kubo. Really <laughs> wants Ramasama to jump. Yeah. Oh, there you go. The super. Oh no, he's just gonna get the claps. Jesus, that damage. Hey, oh, okay. all right. Nice. And oh, it gets the backbreaker. Ramasama. Oh, I don't know if he meant to do that. I'm not sure. Because one thing we saw a lot during that set was whenever Ramasama would get the knockdown, he'd go for the feint up 
and to back down because I think he was trying to bait for the backbreaker. And the one time he does jump, you know, Kubo was was on it. So great, great stuff there. But oh my god, twice yeah. in a row he tries to go for the running grab. Yeah, all right, all right, Storm Kubo, don't, yeah. don't get crazy here. <laughs> don't get crazy. Yeah, nice. I like the back throw into corner, but just Ramasama gives it back to him. Oh, that was tricky. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, nice focus. I love that. That was good. Oh, okay. Empty. Empty clap. I think he was expecting a reversal there. Oh, what do we got here? Goes for the combo. No reset. Oh, oh my god. That was so sick. That works from about three quarters yeah. screen, by the way. <laughs> Not but, uh, full screen, but pretty close. Yeah, I don't know. Like, Kubo, they're backed up. I don't know what, what caused Rama Sama to jump. I guess it was just a good question. Yeah. I mean, that's the scary thing about Hugo, man. You just cannot jump. It's, it's, I mean, it's hard to jump against Hugo. It is. He's got so many options. But it can also be hard to play against him on the ground. We see the spacing that Storm Kubo uses. Oh, really? Nice. Okay. I would love to see a back throw there instead, but... Looking good here for Ramos. Oh, gets the counter hit. Pretty good damage on that. Oh, here you go. That should close it no, out. No, not quite. And now he's in a terrible okay. position. Oh. But Ramasama uses a reversal to get out. Good stuff. Now Storm Kubo sitting on oh, full super here. Any hit will give it to him. There you go. There's finally a block on that. That's good. Uh, oh, looks. I love that use of that normal there. That's a stand medium. Fierce. Wow, he grabbed her out of the hit invincible stinger. You have to choose whether to make it hit or throw or projectile invincible. Any hit here is going to lead to super, but good stuff by Ramasama here. Okay, nice. I like this. Kubo just hanging out. What's the setup? Oh, just low. Oh, oh into overhead. I love it. That was great. Good stuff. Good stuff. That was really good. Yeah. That definitely seems very tricky to block. Mm -hmm. He could probably go low again if he wanted probably to. Probably so, yeah. yeah. Nice. Good stuff by Ramasama there. Tying it up one to one, but that could have been punished, but gets away with one anyway. Oh, there you go. Ooh, nice. That's, that is so punishable. Punish. Oh. So punishable. Oh, but he drops the combo, but still doesn't matter too much as he's got DiCaprio down to 20% health. When I see people punish that stinger with like sweep or grab, I, I always I sigh. Yeah. It's so punishable. Good job, Kubo. Great spacing here from Kubo. Kubo knows he just got a chill. He's got a good life lead and nice. That's the first time that he really went into the air to deal with that. Yeah. He had been playing very patiently the whole set so far. Starting to block that more consistently. Oh, nice. I love that neutral jump there. That's nice adjustment. Ramasama is looking good, but uses the invincibility of the SPD. I guess that overhead's not oh. in the air. All right. Yeah, Ramas Ramasama oh, that was looking good butt. here, but... Kubo's Great blocks. Oh. oh! Okay. This could be the start of it for Kubo. Oh, but he gets it. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, nice wake up throw. Yeah, two late claps. Two yeah. late meaty claps. Nice. Okay, Rama Summer is going down to the match point for both. Yeah. Could this be an easy loser, an uh, early loser's bracket for Storm Kubo? Mm, yeah. Definitely be a little bit of an upset for him. Wow, really? Jump back air throw. Oh. Rama Sama. Oh, okay, nice. Use that armor. Oh, that's, yeah, that's good damage here. Oh. Goes for the throw. Oh, he's really hoping to see something from Ramasama now. Ramasama just patient, jumps back. Definitely surprised Storm Kubo didn't catch that air throw, but Ramasama, nice escape. Oh, tricky oh, nice. stuff. Oh, you can't see. see he's, yeah, not he's not Zangief. He's not Zangief. And uh, backbreaker, and Storm Kubo clutches it out, gives him a, a friendly handshake. So that was, that was a good match. That was a good set. That was a yeah, good set. That was great. 
I mean, like, I think Ramasama there, he, you notice wh whenever he started to go for the uh, cross up, he, was start he started doing the neutral jump a lot more. Yes. And it was finally, it, it finally, Storm Kubo caught on to that. And, you know, he, he, he was wait ready for it. So, very good adjustment there, because there's definitely a lot of times I saw Ramasama get away with the uh, neutral jump a lot that set. Yeah, and he also, he, he started off the set doing uh, the EX stomp. Well, not the stop, the fake, and into yeah. the low. You yeah. know what I mean? That was the thing that got him a lot of damage in the first game. But by the end, Storm Kubo was consistently blocking that on both sides. It was yeah. like in a sequence where it came one side, came to the other side, and he blocked both. Yeah. So he, he was really adapting. That's good. I mean, Ramasama could have taken that, man. That would have been... That would have been... Uh, it would have been an upset, honestly. Yeah. I mean, Ramasama is a really strong player, but... Uh, I think that would have been an upset. In yeah. any case, thanks to Turtle Beach for being one of the supporters of the Capcom Pro Tour as well. They provide the headsets. Uh, for the players who are up there. Absolutely. You can check them out. Here they are. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Turtle Beach. Amazing headset company, actually. Remember them back in the day, every Call of Duty player needed one, and now they're <laughs> now they're, they're, they're coming to the FGC, which is great, because sound right. is super important. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. So. There, there are lots of people who play based on audio cues. Yeah. You, know, you, you listen for certain things. If you're playing against El Fuerte and you hear, you hear a squeak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, that's you know that he's running. Yeah, so it's that's a very, very important part of the fighting games for a lot of people. And right, to all you guys out there, looks like we got a cosplayer for you guys up on stage here. Mm -hmm, yeah, Miss Shinobi. <laughs> so from out on the west. She is. She is. Is she from California? Yes. So Let's see how this goes against the real Steven, who we saw earlier. Yeah. So the real Steven. Played against Volva and yeah. went, to, went to losers, so I guess we're in losers bracket right now. Oh, okay, looks like a little bit of a yeah. button check, but all good. You know, she told me that she had a money match set up this weekend, I believe, Ooh. against Starmie. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know how that happened, or, <laughs> or if it's happened yet. Damn, that seems like a, something in the salty suite that will happen. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Yep, yeah. she gives a wave to the stream crew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be her poison against the real Stevens Ryu, who yeah. we saw before, like we were talking about. Uh, he played very passively the first game, but by the end he was playing more offense, walking yeah. forward more, which which was good. Didn't end up winning, but it's definitely a nice adjustment to see. Yeah, definitely he seemed like he liked to chill a little bit more, but he had to make that adjustment because Volvo was, was just harassing him full screen. Well, let's see. Oh, nice. The little entrance there by Miss Shinobi, but that is punishable. But no punish from the real Steven there. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, we saw him last time hit some combos. You know, he he got them, so yeah. this, this miss is not like him. Oh, nice anti air there. Let's see if he pressures a little bit more than before. Wow. Oh, oh, oh wow. Gets the counter. I I mean, the real team's got to realize he's got a lot of time to punish that. Doesn't need right. to press anything. Again, the miss. Oh, and there you go. I like Ooh. the wait. Oh no! That could have been big. Just, that could have been big. He had meter over there. Just gonna shore you into a super. I'm sure that would have been it. Into ultra. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. The real Steven he's definitely gotta get those punishes down. The fireball game. I don't think it's gonna work out for Ryu. That's why so many Ryu players went to Poison because their fireball game is good. Yeah. So I. I like him pressuring more. I think that makes a lot more sense. Nice. Nice patience. Ooh. And just the sweep. I want to see more. If, if that's all that comes, then it's yeah. not that big of a risk for her to try it. Yeah. And yeah, again, yeah. Punishable, but, but really not dealt with. Right, she can get away with one, but... Oh, there's a counter hit, but... The real Steven in. Oh, oh, really? She goes, she tries to go for an overhead, but Miss Shinobi was on it, and the real Steven just steals that round by a sliver. Yeah. I... She could have blocked at the end. Oh, I don't know. I don't think that's what he meant to do. It looks like the real Steven is trying to do a fireball there, but got a jump. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's the sort of pressure we've seen from him a lot. It's just the... A very patient, crouching medium kick, nothing too committed. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it was just against Volvo. It seems like he actually does just love using that EX fireball at the full screen. Right. 
Every time, look, every time he's got right. two bars, he's just going for the, the EX Fireball. And that's not giving him very many resources, but he is looking good this round so far. Nice, good tech. She needs something really big right now. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, well, it doesn't come. So we, we saw a very similar play out of the real Steven as the first time we saw him on stream. We saw a jump forward roundhouse into walk up grab. I don't know, three, four times as well. It's something that Shinobi's gonna have to look at. What's on the Turtle Breach yeah. headsets? Turtle Beach. Got to She's gotta hear those EX fireballs coming at her. <laughs> and there's the real Steven looking unfazed, saying, "Man, I'm tired." <laughs> yeah, that is what he, that's what his face is saying. That's for sure. There we go. Game number two. Can Miss Shinobi make a little comeback here? Oh, nice. I like it. Oh, nice. Okay, cross up Tatsu. Again, just crouch medium kick fireball. You know, the real Steven must be the Ryu that I've seen Shoryuken the least amount in my entire life. He, yeah, he has he done it? I don't think I don't think he's done a single Shoryuken this like entire time we've been seeing him play. Yeah. Two uh, two matches. Yeah. Almost every time he's get knocked down, he just sits there and blocks, which in a way is good, but at the same time, he's gotta challenge your opponent. But nice, I like this corner pressure. This is where Poison does best. Good stuff here from Miss Shinobi. Great tech, yes. Wow, oh, really? Fireball. fireball in that situation. Oh, wow. and just gets the tick throw. That was such good corner pressure that for was. her, and that she lost the round is that's not a good look for her. You know, yeah. that was a big chance. Match point yeah. instead for Daryl Steven. I mean she used uh, all her EX meter trying to get that, that positive. But I'd like to see her use that uh, EX, uh heavy fireball more as that one is positive as well. There you go, once again. Yeah, just very consistent play, I think, out of both players right now. You know, neither, neither one is really mixing up their style. They both have their go-tos. Wow, that yeah. hit twice. You almost never see that in that situation. Oh, here you go. Here's her entrance. Miss Shinobi's going to need something here. Nice. The sweep. And oh, oh there that is. Oh, the one time he does a Dragon Punch, did it work? Did yes. it work? Oh, yes. and he got it. <laughs> The real Steven was saving that one up ever since <laughs> breakfast, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. He was like, I'm going to have one sure you can all day today, and I'm going to make it count. And he, he did. did. And he did. The real Steven, ladies and gentlemen. That was the time. <laughs> Good stuff to Miss Shinobi, though. Yeah. You know, she's having fun. She's smiling. And that, that's honestly what it's all about. A lot of people come up to these tournaments, and they're, they're so nervous. And, you know, they think they got to be like a top eight competitor. But honestly, just come out, have a good time. You know, but... That's that's the way you start, you know. That's Maybe you end start. up being a top eight competitor, but exactly. for people starting out, and for other people, it might not yeah. be the goal. I mean, look at look at some players' history. I mean, don't get me wrong. Eight one Strider was always a great player, but just until recently, he's now been such a consistent top eight he really competitor. Blew up in the he's last year, yeah. he's really you know improved, and uh, all he said was just keep playing, people. Stop being upset about losing. You know, stop being so salty and and giving up so easily. You have to lose to get better. That's true. Uh, but looks like here we've got E.G. Momochi coming into play, of course. And Giuseppe is his opponent from the USA. Yes. So Japan versus U.S. And uh, I cool believe, F1. how did Momochi do in... I don't remember the last one he was at, but it's okay. Well, he's already qualified for the Capcom he Cup, is, of course. Yeah. I mean, he was the first one to qualify by winning last year's Capcom Cup. Yeah. So he's that's got the most amount of points. Of too. course, because he won <laughs> Evo as well. Yeah. So he's he's doing pretty well. But he's still traveling around, keeping his experience, you know, up, making sure he doesn't get any rust. And of course, there's a financial incentive for doing well at these CPT events. Yeah. So he was at SC SCR, and he plays. He tied for 13. Yeah, he didn't do that great I, at SCR. And I mean, here it says he played Evil Ryu and Guy. He did play Guy. Yeah. So, which is a character, yeah. I haven't seen he, him play too much, because he used to play Cody. Yeah, he uh, did. And he played play. Guy yesterday in the 3v3. That's right, yes. And uh, his team did not win. So what do you think it is? Do you think he's just holding out, doesn't want anyone to download his Ken? Or do you think he's just know. having fun? But all oh, it looks like he's doing a Ken now, so. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the Guy pick. It's something I want to talk with him about. That'd be yeah. really interesting to know. Absolutely. No, Giuseppe has gone to Ken. Well, oh. Momochi do the same. Okay. Ah, okay. So when, for example, Momochi had a chance to play against Chris T's Ken, so a SoCal Ken player, yep. he did not do the, the mirror match. It was oh, Evil Ryu. Not. Oh, wow. But against Giuseppe, 
he does do the mirror. I see it. Momochi on the left using Ultra Combo Double. Huh. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Oh, I know. My goodness, that outfit. Shinnok Ken. <laughs> he looks like he's Kazuya's brother or something. Nice. Always great to see Momochi's movement and his understanding of the ranges. Oh, wait. Yeah. That was pretty solid by Giuseppe, yeah. though. Oh, nice. I love it. All right. Giuseppe came here to play. This is... See if Momochi, uh, I don't know if he was expecting that, but that, that was a really good sequence of spacing and, and confirm and combo from Giuseppe. Oh, nice. Four dash. Oh, okay. Challenges him with a sure you can. It looks like Giuseppe. I, I love Giuseppe's patience here. He's not doing anything too risky right now. But. Oh. Oh, oh he got a hit. Oh, this could be no. He could have won. Oh, no. He has Ultra 2. That's right. Right, yeah, couldn't have gone into Ultra 1. Oh, oh wow! Nice use of that stand jab. I like Momo, I, I like Giuseppe's game. Yeah. I like this so far. Oh, nice. The EX Fireball, I like it. Oh! Ooh, that was a little bit risky. But not bad from Giuseppe there. It was no. definitely... Definitely good mindset of risk reward there. Didn't do anything too reckless. Oh, use that forward dash. Forward focus dash, but yeah, and the, the punish. Yeah, the FADC punish here. Oh, okay, yeah. So we're we're seeing moments you hate having caught on. Yeah, 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 that was a lot of confidence out of Momochi there. Great uh, adjustment. It seemed like Giuseppe had great spacing and he did confirms and combos, and he had the mix-ups right in the first round. But in the second, Momochi just. Didn't give him that chance. Didn't give him a chance to let that stuff get started. Yep. See if Giuseppe can make any uh, any adjustments here. Man, Momochi is playing so aggressive right now in yeah. the neutral. He's definitely trying to just walk him into the corner. Look at that. I don't like the side of Giuseppe. He's, he's not moving around as much as he was yeah. before. You, you have to stay mobile to play in the mid-range against somebody like Momochi. You cannot stay still. Nice, sweet. Great, great whip punish there from Momochi. And he's really utilizing that focus forward dash so much throughout the set. And look at that, he's got him in the corner again, just like last round. Yeah, this is just total control by Momochi right now. Oh, hey, okay. here's Giuseppe, though. Let's see, Giuseppe. Oh. Can he change it? No. Interesting frame trap out of Momochi. Oh, nice. I, I think I think Giuseppe has kind of taken himself out of this. It's not just that Momochi has played really, really well. It's that you can see Giuseppe is not moving around anymore. He's not he's not trying to fight in the same sort of way. It's the kind of situation where you you feel such strength out of your opponent that you, you don't know what to do. It, it yeah. feels like you don't have any options anymore. Yeah. But that is a mental thing. It is. That, that, that's totally what I'm, the vibe that I'm getting from Giuseppe right now. It definitely doesn't seem like he's playing his game as well yeah. right now. Just Okay. Oh, no, and no quick rise out of Giuseppe. Okay, here we go. This is, this is Okay, he puts himself in the corner. I don't know if I like that. Mm, I just, yeah, yeah, I don't think that that was a good mix of considering how, how he's been in the corner so far. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a problem for him. And this is looking grim here. He's going to need something huge here. Momochi you just getting out. Nice. Uses the crouch, crouch strong, and Momochi takes it. The only thing that crouch strong could have hit was step kick. And, yes. And that's what came, that's what came. That came out, yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure Momochi just knows the ranges yeah. so well, right? Absolutely. So it's just Absolutely. so great. And of course, you guys can find Momochi. He's got a YouTube channel where he has some great tutorials. Yes. And uh, it was he made a great guide about the, the wake up option select. Of where you can block a wake up, or you know you can crouch tech, or you'll get a low if they don't do anything. So he's got some great guides o over there. So That's shout true. out, shout outs to him and Choco Blanca. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. My goodness, is this what we're gonna see here? So this is <laughs> these are the two players who we highlighted out of this pool. Pool F4, Avermedia Gamer B on the right, yes. and uh, Devil Reaper Storm Kubo on the left. I'm so happy to see Gamer B coming out here. Of course, had a fantastic performance at Evo, coming second. Uh, was a heartbreak for a lot of people, but you know, Gamer B is 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 always a hero to our heart. So. That was such a tough match to watch. It was. It was. I'm sure it was tougher to play, but yeah. the, the whole top eight at Evo, you know, he started in losers that that day, and 
he had to make some really, really tough matches work for him. Yeah. The, the set against Infiltration was just grinding, <sighs> was... and he, he got through it. Yeah. I mean, the Evo, when you get to that, I mean, even top 64, you get to top 64, just everything's a grind after that. Nothing but killers. And it looks like Gamer B is going to go with his usual pick of Elena, character we've, he's really found himself with. Right. Uh, we'll still see him pull out Adon in a few matchups here and there, but it just has definitely been mostly Elena from here on out. Uh, Nemo yesterday tweeted out his uh, top tier character list, and I believe yeah. he put Elena in the du double S tier. He did. He with did. Uh, Evil Ryu. He and did. Then, uh, so, and then he had the list of top uh, players not from Japan, and Gamer B was also on that list. So just, yeah. uh, just, just. Not a good combination you want to go up against, right? Well, Gamer B's already qualified for the Capcom Cup. Yes. He's had a good year so far. As far as the matchup goes, I don't feel like this is a, a counter matchup or anything. It's, I, I do think it's better than Adon, so I think that that's, that's the right call. Yeah. But it, it's tough for Hugo to deal with healing. He just doesn't have the speed for it. So if she finds enough focus uh, meter to get a healing, she can get it in neutral situations even. Wow. Ooh, it just gets a clap in neutral. Oh, wow, nice. I love that option select right there. That was at max range. Yeah, yeah. Here's, here's healing. So she effectively has as much life as Hugo or oh, more. Oh, and there is Storm Kubo's option select from, from Stan Short, but. That was a really late clap. He was looking for backdash. Oh, oh wow. Gets him with the overhead. Yeah, so tricky. Actually, I almost always see Gamer B go for the low more. But that time, it goes for the overhead. Really nice. And once again, using that crouch medium. Or crouch, I think it's crouch strong. All our kicks are the same. <laughs> it's medium. Yeah. It's uh, forward. Wow. Nice. Goes for the overhead. Good. Great blocking here from Storm Kubo. Oh, wow. Once. He's really made that hitbox work. Yeah. He's doing a great job using that normal. But that that's Elena. You know, she has these crazy buttons. Yeah. And excellent walk speed in the meantime. Oh, oh again, a late clap. He's really looking for backdash or something like that, but Gamer B has had the oh, correct answer. this is answer. what he needs right here. He needs something big. This, this mix-up gets sealed either way. Oh! oh! Okay, good stuff from Gamer B. Looking focused. Storm Kubo focusing here. Thinking about, man, I should play Elena. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should listen to Nemo. All right, here we go. Game number two. See if he makes any adjustments. Yeah. It's it's really about the spacing. It's about trying to outrange, or at least get the right spot on Elena's buttons. Oh, nice, just hard. It's hard love, to do. Love that use of the stand short as anti air. Oh, there you go once again. Ooh, the but, drop though. Yeah. And now what we do? Oh, oh here's here. the clap. It's yeah. a true meaty clap this time. Yeah. Gamer be smart with the stand block. Oh. Wow, I don't know about that. This is not wow. a character that, that's easy to land on. It, it's, I, t I completely agree. Storm Kubo's got to be very careful with that. Because Elena's just always throwing buttons out in neutral. And she has such good walk speed. Yeah. She just walks out of it. Oh, oh I don't that, know what he was looking for. That, that might have been Meat Squasher. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, there you go. Crouching jab, the button. Yeah. Match point now for Gamer B. Gamer B spacing is just so good right now. Oh, okay, punish! Nice. Here we go. We're gonna see another FADC. Yeah, goes for another uppercut. Okay, they're really brawling it out right now. Oh, there you go. Catches it. Okay. This is good damage here for Storm Kubo. This is the life lead that he needs, but once again uses that. That poke. Yeah. Okay. That healing's gonna tie it up. Oh. oh, yeah, that's not gonna be safe regardless. Storm Kubo backing up just a little bit there to try to get a safer spot. But Gamer be just so. So on oh, right now. Wow. And that button has been the bane of Storm Kubo. And he Gamer B takes it two to nothing. He really must have studied this matchup because I've seen him play and other Elena's play mm -hmm. against Hugo's, and, and I've played it myself, and I haven't really seen down medium kick used like that. Yeah. So that was that was really good. That was a huge part of that matchup. I, I, yeah. I would like to see that happen more often. That just seemed really effective. It seemed like that was a big part of why Storm Kubo was 
having trouble in the mid range. Yeah, I mean, Son Kubo, our hero, still not out of it. So he is going to lose her side, I believe. So. Yep. In pool F4. F4, that's right. But we're going to switch now to F3. Which we have here, Razor Xian coming up. Uh, Against Van from Canada. Okay. With a name like Van, I think he's from Vancouver, but he's definitely not. <laughs> you don't know him, huh? No. <laughs> so, we'll see. I mean, Shen also someone who has a lot of uh, characters in his arsenal, but yeah. apparently he's played... Uh, apparently he played Sim against Daigo again recently. That happened recently? Have, yeah. Oh. That's what I've heard, so... I mean, Shen just... just such a nice guy, and he's got so much honor. And, and when he did play Sim against Daigo, he felt so bad about it. <laughs> and like that just shows you like Shen's personality. Where there's other players who just do not care at all. They say, you know what? If you don't know the matchup, it's a bad matchup. That's your fault. He, and Shen is just such a gentleman, and that's why that's why I love him. He insisted to us yesterday that he's not a counter picker. Yeah, <laughs> that he doesn't do that. We we're like, come on, Shen, what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, he is. Yeah, he is. He is, but he, at least he feels bad about it. You know? he, he, I mean, time was he mained Gen, and that was basically it, but that, that time has passed. Yeah, so here we go. We got Razor Shin on the right versus 1-Up Van, who's rocking Jury and rocking that Harley Quinn outfit. I like it. She has cool outfits in general. Her, all, oh, yeah. all of her alternate costumes, I think, are pretty cool. She's just a great character design. Great spacing here from Shin. Yeah, Shen, he likes to play offense, he likes the approach, but he can also just play a very lame, patient, buttonsy game. Yeah. Footsie's game. Oh, no. She's a little bit out of range for that, to, to land a target combo there. Oh, nice. Wow, there's a few frame traps in there, and Van yeah. I mean, just blocked. He's just trying to test right now how many uh -huh. buttons is Van going to press during the block strings. And yeah, there's an easy... Easy anti-air for, for Shen. Closing uh, out game number one. I feel like Van was looking for an anti-air there, and so that's why he tried the dive kick. But yeah. kick stance down Ranos is active for quite a while. Yeah. Players at Shen's level are not going to be jumping too often here. And uh, I, think, I think you're totally right. I think Van is looking for a jump in a lot of the time. But Shen's just not, not grabbing the bait. Yeah, we see a lot of walking going around. For Van. Not too much in the way of active control, though. Yeah. Oh, nice. The couch. The couch strong has been a big factor. Oh, nice cross up here. And Shen right now sitting on full super meter, so Van's got to be very careful. Ultra 2 on deck for yeah. Gen. The damage for uh, oh there uh, you go that's a super we were talking about gonna yeah that, that might kill actually yeah that will kill oh yeah yes yeah. okay I mean it's it's mostly white life damage but she had almost no health left so yeah. there's there's some real damage in there great stuff Shen taking the game first game out convincingly I mean Gen did have a few little adjustments in Ultra in terms of a little bit of damage nerf to the super into Ultra but. Still totally more than viable character, and I'm glad to see Shen sticking with him. Okay, nice. I just want to see more active play out of Van. I feel like he's yeah, he's, he's, he's walking around, and I, in, even some of the positions that he's taking I think are nice. It's just that he's not, he's not playing any sort of active role when he's there. No, I absolutely agree. I think anytime Shen is in that mid-range, it seems like Van just wants to sit there and walk. Mm. And Wow, that was Sometimes really good. Sometimes you got you to challenge, and it looks like Shen is just, just playing his game. Oh, nice overhead to close it out. Just enough. Match point for Shen. Yeah. As very well might be Van just like not playing like a, his usual self. You know, you're playing against an Evo champion. Definitely messes with you a little bit. Okay, yeah, this is, this is what I like to see. I mean, I, yeah. I'm not necessarily asking that he play offense. Just yeah. if you want to play defense, that's great, but you do have to make things work. Exactly. No, no, he's doing great now. He's yeah. actually throwing out more buttons here, and this, this is much better. great for Van. Nice. I like it. There you go. He's oh, so he much Oh, he chased the back dash. Look at this guy. Good stuff from 1-Up Van here. He's got 
uh, a Canadian crowd going nuts right now. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It is like 11 in the morning. Well, well. <laughs> People getting they're, a little too hyped. Yeah, they're already here. hard at work over yeah. there. <laughs> Welcome to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. But nice. Good tech from Van here. He's definitely got to challenge more and definitely great adjustment because we do see Van playing a little bit more offensive. Uh, but nice. Oh, gets all that white damage there with his crouch strong. And Shen just really holding this corner. Oh, wow. His, so his whiff slick. punish game is one of the best. So sick. Yeah, that was so slick. Good stuff to one-up Van, though. He definitely seemed like he, he got more composure himself of himself during the second match. Uh, There's at least a mental victory there where, you know, you... I, I think I think you're probably right about the situation where he was playing against somebody like Shen on yeah. the stage. He knows yeah. people are watching. His yeah. friends were there. <laughs> his friends are just yelling for some reason. It, yeah, exactly. And and yeah. all that stuff can take you off of your game. Absolutely. But by that the second to last round, it seemed like he was starting to get into the sort of groove that he, he needed to. He was really exactly. starting to play his game. And even though he ends up losing, I, I do think that there's at least something he can build off yeah. for, for the future out of that. No, I definitely think that he's a much better player than, than what we saw. Yeah. You know, and we saw that in the second round there. Uh, so good stuff. Good stuff to one up Van. You know, he, he did good. He took out a round. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. All but, right, well, we're going to go back to pool F1 where we'll, we'll have Booker versus Rice Eater. Oh, so the three this is the matchup we were talking about earlier. It was, yeah. The yeah. three people we mentioned were Booker, Rice Eater, and Momochi. Yeah. And two of those are going to fight right now. Yeah. And yeah. if any of you guys are tuning into the stream now, Booker, also known as Tampa Bison. Yes. So uh, just to clear some things up for you guys. Like we were saying, he's the P. Diddy of the uh, <laughs> the fighting game community. So <laughs> here we go, Ricita. So Ricita, that man lived in Calgary. I know for a while he lived in Vancouver. I know for a while he lived in Toronto. So this guy is like Captain Canada. He's been all over the place. He's wow. lived everywhere. I can't even tell you where he's from. I would just say Calgary. Uh, but... He's definitely been around everyone. I love that 12 Monkeys shirt. So, Ricey, of course, uh, one of Canada's finest uh, Blancas. I don't want to give no disrespect to Lap G, but def definitely very different style from Lap G. Look, earlier we were having the discussion about... Uh, you, about you can just say it. It's fine. <laughs> He's the best Blanca in Canada. <laughs> you know, Lap G is very aggressive, very reckless. Yeah. And then, you know, there's the Ricey style of Blanca, which is very patient. Uh, Raisita definitely made a name for himself more during Canada Cup 2010, which is the first Canada Cup where he had a great set against Daigo. And, you know, Raisita was just holding down back the whole time and just was definitely getting getting some good games off of Daigo. So He came down to the U.S. recently and got, got a top eight. Yeah. And, you know, and here we go. Looks like we're going straight into it. Great challenge there from... from Booker there going straight to a scissor kick after he sees the forward dash. It's a hard match for both characters to approach in. Wow, got the hop forward grab. Surprising. See if he approaches. Yeah, still approaching. Nothing, nothing too serious, nothing too tricky, but you know, got some damage out of it. And like you said, he's great at just playing patiently and defensively, and having a life lead in this matchup yes. is, is everything. It's going to be super important, yeah. without a doubt. Great oh. block there. Oh. I don't I'd like to see some sort of punish of some sort, but bit awareness right now from Booker, but Ricita, you see he's just sitting on that life lead. He's got life lead. He says, hey, you come to me. Yeah, it, it is on Booker. He, he has yeah. plenty of time. He doesn't need to make it happen right now, but yeah. at some point, ah, well, that could be the start. Yeah, there you go. Oh, gets a counter hit, but some damage here, but... Wow, oh. that was crazy. Oh, really? You had Ultra 2? No punish. We've seen this a few times now from Booker, but... Nice option select. I like it. Okay, so nice recovery by Booker. Oh, that's not it. Oh, uh, nice, great stuff. I love that, that crouch short option select there. Uh, definitely something you can use against Blanca as well. They're in the corner. The reason that, whole, that all happened was because Blanca whiffed a focus in footsies, and Booker got the whiff punish short scissors. That was, that was it. I mean, yeah. if... Bryce had not whiffed that, that could have been a totally different round. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing. That there's two battles happening, right? There's there's the life lead battle, but there's also the spacing battle. Where Bryce Sita had that life lead, uh, and he was walking back. He walked himself back to the corner, mm -hmm. and that, that's definitely what gave Booker that great spacing to get him that great series of events. 
Nice focus. Okay, I like that challenge. Uh, this time, yeah. Nice. Goes right into the corner. Wow. Wake up, down, medium. It's pretty fast. Yeah. And Raisita now. A little bit of a life lead, but can't get himself in a bad position like last round. Yeah, again, he's yeah. potentially one whiff away from losing the round. Exactly. Yeah. Not that Booker's going to deal all that damage at once, but it's it's the turning of tides that's important. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. nice. Good stuff. And yeah, Bison's now also have the use of red focus, too, for mm -hmm. some combos. So that could have been one hit away. Oh, yeah. Bison goes, if Bison gets a jump toward Fierce, he oh, can deal yeah. all the damages. But that, that never happens. Yeah. <laughs> never true. happens. Both of them sitting on a full super meter here. So. Nice. Well, I, lo I love how Booker right now is just walking him to the corner. Again, that wake up crouchy medium kick. I love that spacing there. Oh, he lets him jump out. So here's Booker now in the corner, full meter. Ooh, ah, okay, nice hop. Okay, this. Oh no, Rice oh. drops the combo. He wanted ultra one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that might hit. I'm, I'm not sure what I, happens I here. Yeah. Oh no. Oh really? He gets away. And nice. Oh no. He, okay, he was airborne there. Yeah, but it's too early after the focus. But Booker's still sitting on full meter. Rice is gonna need something big to happen, but he's got no resources now. But let's see this. That's the start. Yeah. Like we said, one whiff by Blanca could t turn the tide, but same thing for Booker. Uh, oh, he's gonna chip here. Oh no, nice, okay, like it. Trick, oh, oh the other side. Where does he go next? Oh, oh my boy. goodness. He can't get touched. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Great awareness from Booker there. So, so risky. And Rice Cedar right now, getting, oh no, Lapchi, don't go up on stage. Lapchi's gonna be like, go, this is what Lapchi's gonna see. He's like, man, go nuts, man. You're right. Just go crazy, red focus. That's what you're saying right man. now. Yeah, crouchy medium kick, up ball, <laughs> red focus. That's his advice. <laughs> of course, Lapchi working hard to make everything happen here. Um, and great, great, great play from Booker right now. Yeah, he's capitalized when he's had the chance. He's had nice ranges a lot of the time. Oh, looks like he switched to Ultra too. Mm. So let's see what changed this. I don't know, maybe he wants him to wake, to respect him more on wake up or jumping over him on wake up. We'll see. Who knows? Or full screen chip. Wow, that was a, wow. quite a shimmy. Yeah. Very unsafe range to use that, so Booker not looking out for it, but that's why it worked. Oh, nice. Oh. And uh, Booker has been so on point with blocking those. It's hard. Yeah, I know, definitely. He just knows. Oh, that was it a couple seems like mistakes. he knows all the time what direction it's coming from. And, like, I don't think Ricey has gotten away with a single one of those so far. It's really costing him the set. Oh, did not get the second hit. Right so now, now Booker backing off. Now Does not want to let Ricey to have. Any obvious, easy entrance. Oh, really? Okay. That's wow. really what he seemed it was looking yeah. out for. But okay. Is Rice okay? Wow, just gets a throw. Oh, again. Oh, he he keeps looking for Booker to walk backwards. Oh, that was a little scary, but he knows the range, and that should be it. And Rice just steals that one with a counter hit, focus and crumple. That was. That was super risky. That was super risky, was. but he got away. There you go. Nice slide. Oh. Doesn't opt to go for the back throw, but... Oh, tries to get that counter hit. I see that right now. Looks like he just wants to chill. He hasn't really been able to keep that up, though. Yeah, but He's because Booker right now is doing a great job slowly walking him to the corner, yeah. if you notice. Yeah. And yeah, there you go, the scissor pushes him again once to the corner. That's that's Booker's plan right now. He says, hell, I don't care if you have the life lead, I'm just going to push you to the corner. And such a good counter hit. Excellent whiff punish. Yeah. Oh, again, it doesn't work. Well, regular, uh, EX up ball finally does. I 
So back to the patient game. The patient walking. Wow. Wow, that was... It's an important thing for Blanca to do because if he just walks backwards, there's yeah. no reason to respect it. He has to come forward at least a couple of times just to make you think, oh, this could happen, and I need to watch out for it. Absolutely. No, he needs to challenge him a little bit more because look at this. He's once again got himself in the corner, and this is exactly what Booker wants. And look, again? look he's, he's it, never gotten away with that a single time throughout this set. The, the punishes are not there, but yeah. the blocks yeah. are there. But it looks like, it looks like right, Zita might, he might not be afraid to, okay? I would not be surprised if he wants to time this out. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it, Booker. Can he, can he do oh. this? Oh, he can still do this. He can still do this. What's, yeah. what's his pressure? What's his pressure? One Chip? hit? Oh, it's, it's gonna, is that in time? Is that going to work? Oh! oh! And he gets a timer. And Ricita doing what he knows best and going to lame him out, tying it up one to one. Here we go. It looks like we're going straight back into it. Oh my goodness, this is such a good match. Yeah, for both yeah. of these players, I think the only chance to get into Capcom Cup is to win the whole thing. Yeah. So it's not going to be easy, but they have to stay alive in winners. Oh, oh okay. there you go. There it is. And so Rice. back to this very patient game. Yeah. And you know, that, that's what it seems like it's been every round. Right? Rysita starts off aggressive, gets a little bit of a life lead, and it goes back to this this neutral, where Booker just slowly walks him into the corner. But here you go, Rysita with a nice escape. I like it. Seems like he's, he's wanted to be a little bit more offensive here in the neutral. He's realized those games have been way too close. Still challenging a little bit here and there. That's what yeah. he has to do, like we were saying earlier. Yeah. Very important. Oh, no punish. No slide. Good. Raisita is doing a good job taking advantage of, you know, Bison's limited anti-air options. Oh, oh the grab this time. Huh. Yeah. I really feel like Booker's looking oh, out for that. there it is again. But no combo. Maybe a little bit more insistence on pressure now from Booker. There's only 13 seconds left. Yeah. He needs to get in. He needs right. to get in just about now. Yeah, right, Sita. It might, it might not. Yeah, it might already be impossible. He yeah, does not have ultra though. We'll see. That's oh, it. That no, that's it. That's it. That's just... it. It's too late. Oh goodness. It was too late. <laughs> and right, Sita. We told you guys this is going to be a lame Blanca, and that's what you got. <laughs> do what you got to do. Yeah. And that's that's an effective style with Blanca. It's it's hard to find a style that works with Blanca. Sure. But that's one of them. And it's not easy to do as well. You can see, once again, early in the round, Rysita playing so aggressive, and now he's going to lame it out again. It's hard as the opponent to, to deal with that drastic change in strategy. It is, yeah. Because Rysita can just flip a switch and yeah. just turn it on anytime. Oh, nice. I love that OS. Again, the crouching medium kick wake up. Oh, that's punishable. Oh, no. Did he just uh, not believe he had the timing? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, awesome. No. Oh. First time that hit, and Rysita's looking really good there here. It is. To take Booker into the loser's bracket. And the Canadian crowd is cheering for their hero, Mr. Canada. One of the best players in Canada. Oh, for there sure. you go. There's, <laughs> there's Lachi. <laughs> the Blanca bros. Lachi sadly not wearing his Blanca shirt today. <laughs> that was a cool shirt, though. That was, that's a cool shirt. He's been, he's been wearing that ever since last Canada Cup, I oh, think. Yeah, that okay. was the first time I saw him. <laughs> okay. He pulls it out every Canada Cup. He's got it ready. So we're going to go to Losers Finals of Pool F4, where we are going to have a run back between Ron Masama and Storm. Oh, Kubo. nice. Okay. They are coming up again. After that, we'll have winners finals of Pool F3. Razor Shen, EGK Brad. Ooh, okay. So Both of those are going to be good. Now, we did mention how when Storm Koopa was playing against Ramasama for the first time, he adapted as things were going on. Yes. Right? He was dealing better with uh, EX Scramble into the fake, into the low. He, he was blocking uh, better. He was looking for those neutral jumps that Ramasama yeah. had with uh, EX Backbreaker. So it's going to be on Ramasama to make a counter adjustment. For sure. I mean, Ramasama could totally have this. I believe it was down to the last round. It was. It was that, last round. That set. So this, this set could go any way. Ramasama was definitely playing very strong. Uh, so I'm very curious to see what, what adjustments he makes. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely know that he's got to watch out for those neutral jumps because every time yes. Ramasama has been crossing up, 
those neutral jumps were coming out, and Storm Kubo did a great job making that adjustment. Yeah, so, absolutely. I'm very curious to see how this yeah, goes. Yeah, so. and you know, when, when that match started off, he was going for a lot of attempted whiff punishes, it seemed, but yeah. that wasn't really working out, so he was trying more of, of scramble play, and that did seem to work out a little bit better. Work out. But it, at the same time, Storm Kubo doesn't seem too afraid of the feints. You know, he just, just walks forward, and yeah. uh, you know, there's a few times when we saw him challenge with, uh, the first time we saw him challenge with a uh, jump heavy punch, yeah. which was. Which is good to see, because uh, it just shows his DiCaprio experience uh, that he probably has in Japan. Because I believe also Jace plays DiCaprio, and he plays DiCaprio mainly because when Ultra came out, he was in Japan at the time, yeah. because a lot of people in Japan were really interested in DiCaprio. So I definitely know Storm Kubo is no slouch in this matchup, uh, because of the arcade scene over there. Gotta learn it. Yeah. So... It turned yeah. out that all, all four new characters were strong. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, that's, that's cool. <laughs> that is really cool to see, for sure. You know, there was definitely, <laughs> in, in the beginning, there were some worries about uh, Hugo, but with what we're seeing now and a little bit of changes uh, through patches, like, Hugo is just turning out to be a very scary character. And I don't know if I like this against the Yeah, come on, I don't, come on yeah. buddy. Yeah. There, there are moments where Storm Kubo just seems to get a little bit ahead of himself. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's what you got to have in you to be a Hugo player, but... Oh, nice. Nice, I like the jump back roundhouse. But Ramasama was such a huge lead here. Oh my god, those roundhouses. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Oh, wow. He's going to need a lot to make this, make this come back. Yeah. You know what, I like that. Even if he got punished, he had a lot to work with. And Ramasama looking so strong that first round. Okay. Oh wow, I really think that was SPD punishable. Nice. Oh, here you go, got the counter hit. Let's see what he's got. A lot nice. of waiting out of Storm Kubo. I like the timing on it. Oh, okay. Goes for a clap after the cross up, but Ramasama challenging it. All right. What has he got here? Oh, oh it, it was there! The fingertips! He said no. He... Oh, my oh, that goodness. Oh, that was tricky, though. That was legit tricky. Okay, yeah, he's, yeah, he's got to watch out with that. Storm Kubo had a life lead. He did not need to do that. Okay. Oh. That was so risky, though. It was. Yeah. Like you said, I think he's a little bit getting over, like ahead of himself. He's got to kind of tone it down when he's got the life lead. Storm Kubo. A big change in play for Ramasama right now. He's playing very passively. Oh, nice. And that escape that we saw earlier in the last set. Yeah, I wonder what the deal is with the change of pace from Ramasama, but it, it seems to be working right now. It seems okay. Oh, once again, there's that escape, but goes for the empty low. Nice. I love it. Nice. Good stuff. Ramasama seems like he's been a little bit more aggressive with the reversals this set, and it's been working out for him. Yeah, yeah. He's really made Storm Kubo's pressure not very effective. Yeah. So Storm Kubo's going to need to make that adjustment from last set, and he's just going to have to respect. Respect it. Let's see. Last time Ramasama had a tricky setup, oh! but he was ready for it this time. Oh, Hugo! Okay. <laughs> that giant hitbox. Oh, nice. Ramasama trying to pressure. Oh! oh! Backbreaker. Here we go. Chip will do it, but oh, oh he went just, for it. Yeah, I, I had a feeling, David. Oh! And he gets the neutral jump that we were talking about, yeah. and Ramasama steals it. Yeah, he knows so, it. He knows it, oh. too. Look at that Look at that expression. <laughs> Ramasama, of course. I believe Ramasama's from Texas, right? Uh, Louisiana. I think he now Louisiana. lives in Texas, though. Okay. So definitely shout out to all the people over there cheering him on. Oh. Okay. Nice. First time we saw the ultra throw. Nice, I love, love this clap pressure, but once again, Ron Masama doing a great job just contesting it. Oh, tries to focus in an SBD. All right, so now it's going to... Oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, that was cute, too. Yeah. I like it. Oh, oh there you go. That's, yeah. that's probably death. No, he didn't Ooh. get strong clap. Just did jab. Oh! And goes for the down heavy kick. Was probably, I don't know, Ramasan was probably going for a tech there or a jump. Who knows? But a risky stuff. That, that, that move is probably like minus 40 or something. 
Right now, Storm Kubo is sitting on a full, full super meter. Can definitely get some big damage here. But Ramasama looking so good right now. Well, Okubo really trying to see if there's a jump. That's what he's looking for. He's hoping for. Yeah. You can see his character going down toward, down toward. He's really pumping for that Ultra 2 motion. Because yeah. at this point, he needs that big comeback. He does. He needs something big. And it's the, the Ultra is a very big point of that. Nice. The good adjustment. Oh, he, can, he can do this on this mix-up. Oh, oh, here you go. Oh, no. He could have gotten more. Oh, he could have gotten another rep of claps. Oh, I would have loved to see... I'd love to see an EX clap or clap makes up and then just wait and just see what Ramasama would do. You know, same thing we saw with Vae, you know, back in Evo, where he would do an EX clap and just wait. And a lot of a lot of times that makes a lot of people jump up in yeah. the air. And that could have been his big comeback there. Yeah. So this is match point now for Ramasama against Storm Kubo. Again, this is losers. Storm Kubo at risk of getting eliminated. Some patience. Oh, Ramasama yeah. really trying to get away though. Oh, so so he's opting like he's opting to jump forward now. Uh, and Ramasama, I think, is starting to fish that out, and he's delaying his oh! reversals and gets that backbreaker. Here we go, Storm Kubo. Oh, the wait! Oh. Ramasama expected it. Is this a Storm Kubo's tournament life? Oh! And he grinds and he clutches it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Look at Storm Kubo. You say face what? <laughs> he says, "Oh my God." Okay, Storm Kubo needs to take him. He needs to take a second here. Yeah. To, to rethink that. I, 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 think, I think you're right. Yeah, it seems yeah. he is taking a little bit yeah. of a break. This okay. set is ridiculous. Here we go. Game number three. This is Storm Kubo's both of their tournament life yeah. here relying on this. So Ramasama has been playing great so far. Oh. Nice. Gets a counter hit there. So it's full combo. Oh, nice empty jump into throw. He hasn't gone for very many meaty grabs. It's mostly claps. Nice. I'm so surprised he went for the... The meaty there, but Ramasama did not end up going for the reversal. Oh, I'm so surprised he didn't go for an SPD. Oh, right, here you go. Just gotta take oh, it. No. What was that? Yes, oh, nice. yes. Breaker. Late, but he got it. What's the meaty idea? Oh, oh wow, jump back. Back fierce and nice block there from Storm Kubo. Storm Kubo, yeah, he, he needs to just play it a little bit patient, but Ramasama still in this. All he needs is a hit here. He got and it. And that's what he. Okay. He needs one more. Oh, oh, and he gets it, Ramasama. Again, match point. Stealing another one there. About to take away Storm Kubo's tournament life here. Oh, starts it off with a medium clap. Oh, nice throw. That's right. Oh, again, nice tried it. He's getting Storm too insistent. Yeah, he's going a little bit too crazy. Oh, wow. Storm Kubo's got to just calm down. Great read by Ramasama for the grab there. Again, oh. Ramasama putting on a clinic. Oh, again, the grab. My goodness, he can Ramasama. Kill. Look, yeah, there's a so stun. And that is going to be it. Could he do it? He and, got it. And that is it. Ramasama takes out Storm Kubo. There will sadly not be too much of a Hugo presence in Canada Cup 2015. Good stuff. That was. Great play for Ramasama there. I mean, he, he oh he played it great. He he stole the first match, but he he played fantastic. I'm sure people over in Texas are are, are going nuts for him right now. So well, I love those mix-ups in the last round. I mean, he he, he read yeah he he really read Storm Kubo strongly in that last yeah. round. That's for sure. That's for sure. So Storm Kubo eliminated. Not just not much presence at Ca at Canada Cup, but. Not at Capcom oh, Cup either. David, you don't have to say it. That's it. You don't have to say that's it, it, David. I mean, he can still, he could theoretically win DreamHack, I guess, but that's going to be a tall order, and I'm not sure if he's going to make it out there. Yes. But it looks like coming up next, we got Razor Shen versus EGK Brad, what we talked about a little bit earlier. So, of course, we'll see the Gen versus Kami matchup. Um, be interesting. Interesting to see. That's what I expect, but like we were talking about earlier, Shen does have a few other characters that he plays. Yeah. Shen, uh, of course, you know, during made, made a name for himself first. I, I would say around the cross counter Asia times, and he would play a lot of Yun. Uh, it, you know, he, he would play a lot of Yun for in early AE days. Uh, that's when he really started to get out there and known. But then he really found himself with Gen. Yeah. And uh, I'm really, really happy, like I said earlier, just to see him stick to his character, you know, because Gen did get a few nerfs here and there. Uh, but, you know, it's great to see the character loyalty. 
sticking through. He has such a strong understanding of the character, where he should stand, yeah. which options he should use, and he, he does the stance switches like nobody else. I mean, it's hard to see when he switches. It's hard to know which options he has at any one time. Absolutely. I remember during the vanilla days, you know, people, a lot of people would always say Gen is like a hidden top tier, just no one's really figured him out yet. You know, we'd see players like Yeb and yep. uh, a few others. I, I forgot. There's there's a few other... In, in the US, it was uh, Yeb and Jibbo were the two Jibbo, that were, that's were right, strong. yeah. That character was crazy, though. Vanilla Gen <laughs> yeah. was silly. <laughs> yeah, All right. Yeah. He had some very silly <laughs> options. Yeah. Just... So it is going to be Cam again. Yeah. By the way, but it is minus 40. I looked it up. It's exactly, Hugo's butt is exactly oh, well, minus 40. I, I, I yeah. said, I You're said right. minus 40. Yeah, dude, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's go. Here we go. Oh, wow. Shen just playing so offensively right now. Yeah, he's really taking it to Cammy and not letting K-Brad get Cammy's game started. Well, until yes. then. And I can't lie, this outfit is a little hard to see. Okay. Good patience there from Shen. Gotta get the knockdown. Let's see what he's got here. Oh, uh, the two hits, oh. target combo, and the fuzzy. Was that a combo, though? I think so. Was it a combo? Yes. Oh, God. That was so sick. Now, oh, great. Great setup. Great adjustment there from K-Brad. He's realized that Shen is not pressing too many buttons, but when he did, he got a counter hit. Oh, ah. I love that walk back strong. So sick. You don't see that very often from Cammy. Yeah. And right here, this is Shen's going to need something big here. He's going to definitely going to have to take advantage of this corner pressure. Puts himself in the corner. Nice escape from K-Brad. That was a really great sequence of the stance switching. You know, that's really what I'm talking about. Going to roll, going to hands all of a sudden. There's on the, on the other side. Oh. Okay. I mean, Shen is sitting on a full super, but if he get, can get another hit, okay, at this point, he'll probably use super if he gets a hit. So there oh. you go, and there it is. And into ultra one. Yeah, that's going to be it. That's wow. going to be it. Nice. That's exactly what he needed. He just needed a little bit more damage for him to fully make that decision whether he's going to use super that that round or not. But good stuff from Shen, just clutching that one out. I felt like K-Brad just started to play a little bit too defensive, wasn't challenging him enough, and uh, Shen just found a way in. These two played in Milan, says Logan Sama, and Shen beat K-Brad pretty convincingly in this matchup. K-Brad beat Shen. Is that what I said? No, Shen beat K-Brad. Oh, Shen beat K-Brad, okay. Oh, nice. Shen just doing a good job walking him to the corner again. Like, okay, he's going to take the damage right away. Yeah. I guess he just wants the light bleed here, and that's just going to be just enough to get at that. Still has a chance to build another oh, ultra. Oh, nice. Oh my god, he's using that, that heavy kick so well. Oh. So Shen maybe still, still can steal it? He still, oh, he still he can, can take this. He still can take this. He's going to need one more thing after this. And he mix up will do. What has he got? Oh, Ooh. he thought it would chip. Oh. He thought it would chip. Just barely enough. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. Good. But the, the way that that started was that he recognized that K-Brad was going to that stand around us a lot, like you said. And so Shen had the jump timing over it, or what he expected was going to be it, and he got in as a result. You always have to pay attention to both the air and the ground. Yeah. Oh, wow! What? I don't know if that's what he meant, <laughs> but if he did, he's oh, the again, best. He tried oh, it. <laughs> K-Brad rarely does Dragon Punch, so, oh, oh okay. look at this. Yeah, I think he, he's changing up his style. There you go. He's going to play a little bit more reckless here. And this is what I like to see. Oh. There we go. Oh, nice. Same side. And this is big for Shen here. Yeah, this is the round where K-Brad had some really good stuff. So if Shen can take it, that would be a huge benefit to him. Good defense by K-Brad there. Just definitely keeping his composure and blocking that whole time. I love it. And nice. Once again, that roundhouse. Oh. But no, that's going to be it. That was that a was, big commitment. That was, I don't know what he, I don't know if he wanted to like focus cancel that, but it was just a little bit too late. I don't think so. he had bar yet at that time. Yeah. Wow. So as a result, now Shen is up at his match point. Okay. But Shen is sitting on full super meter. This does change a lot here. 
so K Brad's gonna need a great sequence. There, so yeah, this is gonna be such a big life lead for him. Oh, what has he got? Oh, goes for the low. I like that. And nice. Wow, so he did try drill again at that range. There is a range where you can make it safe. Yeah. But even once you're there, it's a mix up between, you know, Dragon Punch or Throw, and it's like not the greatest mix up in the world. But Chen had the challenge. I don't know if that was a, an actual punish or just he was challenging with down jab and it worked. Regardless, pretty convincing win again by Shen over K Brad.